Hi, I'm Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday morning, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, October 19th, 2011, uh, with your gold, silver, and spider report. Uh, this is the GLD tracking uh, the gold. And um, in my last video, I talked about this wedging triangle that we were in and how the likelihood it would uh, break to the downside, and it did. Uh, we have now taken out this lower trend line, and we've also taken out this 100-day moving average. Um, but we still are above this longer term trend line that I've drawn here, this um, uh, blue dotted line, which is currently at about 157.50. And uh, we got down to uh, 159.86 this morning. And uh, so currently uh, we are feeling uh, pressure, a uh, downward pressure, as this red line, the 21 day moving average, continues to fall. And we're butting up against that. So gold kind of in a nowhere um, mode here kind of drifting sideways with a downward bias. So no uh, real uh, trend in place on a daily chart here. And um, volume has been uh, very light. And um, some of your biggest uh, volume spikes have been to the downside. So uh, not really a market to be long on. And going to a weekly chart of the GLD, you can see this longer term trend line that I've drawn along the bottoms here still in place, still respecting that. Uh, we did, um, of course, uh, come under this 20-week moving average here. So a little bit of a pullback, losing about 2% so far this week, um, but uh, a normal pullback here. And uh, so far, the volume has been light. So longer-term uh, gold uh, buyers um, could be uh, buying against this line here as it pulls back in this area, betting that it won't uh, collapse below this if it does uh, get out quickly, because this long-term trend will show weakness at that point. So gold, uh, acting as it should, um, got above uh, this upper trend line, corrected back to the lower trend line, which is quite normal in a sustained run. And let's see if we can hold. Now, if it does break this uh, lower trend line here, the next support would come in here at the 40-week moving average, which is currently at 151.46. And moving on now to silver, this is your SLV, the silver ETF. Same kind of story, fighting a battle here at this 21-day moving average, which is uh, uh, falling very rapidly. Uh, <clears throat> low volume down here, same as the gold, drifting kind of sideways with a downward bias. Uh, same kind of story on the silver. So really going nowhere here. Um, best to stay out of these kind of markets as you can get carved up pretty good if you're trying to play the, uh, the short-term run here. Silver, of course, having a, um, a big fall here uh, in late September and again back in, here in early May. Um, so um, uh, silver trying to get uh, some sort of a, of a bottom in place here, possibly to start a new uptrend, but that is not in place yet. Then when we go to a weekly chart of silver, uh, we can see we're down about 3% uh, uh, on the week, uh, fighting a battle here, kind of going sideways the last few weeks here, but you can see the, the big drop here um, back in September. You can see the big drop here back in early May. So silver uh, trying to find uh, a bottom here, uh, directionless market again, uh, no real uh, momentum in place. Moving on now to the S&P 500, the large cap stocks. Uh, this is the SPY. And uh, we can see here that we have uh, come up against resistance here, overhead resistance at this green dotted line, which is the 100 day moving average. So fighting a battle here for the last four sessions uh, in this area here. Uh, we did get above this upper trend line uh, that had uh, been respected uh, here and um, kind of going back and forth between that upper trend line and the 100 day moving average. You also notice this, this uh, gray area here. This is the Bollinger Band and the Bollinger Band is a mathematical algorithm that keeps prices within it 95 percent of the time so it hit resistance uh, at that point also. So uh, S&P 500 kind of grinding sideways uh, uh, trying to hold on to these gains uh, we did have a massive run up here since the beginning of October um, and uh, sideways action here on low volume would be uh, a good thing. So S&P 500 just uh, sort of uh, biding its time at this point. Looking at the weekly chart of the S&P 500 we can see uh, this stalling action here at the 20 week moving average, this green dotted line. You can see this very volatile action that we've had now for the last couple of months and we're still in that pattern, have not really broken completely free of that. So uh, sideways uh, volatile action continues in the markets. So what we have in, in the gold, silver, and uh, the spiders is uh, we have sort of directionless trading. And um, 
I found my most success uh, with trend trading. So I like to get into these things when there is a definite trend in place, and we don't have that right now. But things change rapidly. Let's see what happens. Thanks for watching.